Here's another question that uh, I had received and something that I, I really never thought about, but uh, you will see a picture of the stairway at the end of the video, or I should say a drawing of the, vid of the stairway at the end of the video for what I'm referring to, but it's a building code issue that I don't think has ever been addressed and uh, something that's not going to be on used on a common set of stairways, especially on a straight stairway like this one here. Now, first off, I want to get started by pointing out that they do have building codes that point out how to measure the distance of a stair tread. And it's usually going to be from the vertical surface or the riser to the vertical surface of the riser below. Or if you have a nosing, then it would be from the vertical um, section here to the vertical section above. So I hope that makes sense. And in this case, we're using an 11 inch tread. Now let's go ahead and throw in a wall. This is a typical situation for a straight stairway that would be uh, dying into a hallway, for example or into an open area. Now here's a different design and something you're probably not going to see very often, but provides us with an example of a section of the stairway that might be useless or rarely even used. And in that's, if that's the case, why even design it as such? In this example, this particular stairway might meet most building codes, but I can see with it uh, there being an issue if you were going to measure from here to here or from here to here, you might not have the same measurement as, of course, you would on the desired section of the stairway. But you would have it down here. Now, if we move this section over in this example, then we still have the same thing down here. This is working, but this one right here might not be. Now here's an example of the stairway I ran into that inspired the video. And you can see that the bottom treads, the first step, looks fine. But the second one here isn't. Now remember, you're only allowed a maximum of 3 eighths of an inch variation. So if I have an 11 inch tread here, an 11 inch tread here, but I have 11 and 3 quarters if I measure from here to here, or I, if I measure from here to here, I have 10 inches. This isn't going to make your building inspector happy. So now here's kind of what I'm thinking. And this is, like I said, a building code that hasn't been addressed. And the reason why I don't think it's a big concern is because people are rarely, if ever, going to step on these areas. So I went ahead and drew some... Um, blocks or something to create a space of one foot away from the wall, one foot away from the edge of the stairway to give us an idea of areas that probably won't ever see a foot stepped on them. And if you were, if you were stepping on it, it would be more of a conscious thing, maybe a couple of kids goofing off on a set of stairs or something like that, but you would be conscious of where you were stepping. Wouldn't be like pre-programmed robotic movement going up and down a stairway. So think about it. These areas, if they're not going to be used, they're not going, no one's ever going to be stepping on them, then something like this might not be a concern to a building inspector. Now, here's the part that you do need to consider. And that would be to check with your local building department. If you're going to build something like this, you draw a set of plans and you build something like this. And this is on the set of plans. But the planning department officials miss it. But the building inspector catches it. Then you're going to be changing this or making some modifications. So um, just to think about that when you're designing your stairs or if you have a situation like this. Um, you run across in the future. 